It's 7 o'clock, uh, time to begin our meeting tonight. I'll uh, call the meeting to order. Commissioner Tommy Little will have will lead us in our invocation, and Commissioner Doug Langston will have our pledge to the flag. If you would, please stand for the invocation and the pledge. Let us pray. Our Father, we want to thank you for allowing us to be able to come here together tonight. We ask that you be with us, give us wisdom, give us guidance in these deliberations. We ask you to be with all of our leaders, state and country. We ask you to be with our armed forces overseas and in harm's way. We also want to ask a special blessing on the Hester family at their recent loss, that you'll be with them and comfort them. We ask all these things in thy name. Amen. Amen. Would you repeat the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Be seated, please. <clears throat> Ms. Lane, if, if all of you are here, if you'd push your present button, the yellow button, uh, to record your attendance at the meeting tonight. Uh, now present is white button. Present is white button? Yes. The white button, okay. <laughs> put, put, push, push a button. <laughs> push, push the white button. All right, record a vote, Ms. Anderson. Yeah, 21 present, 3 absent. Commissioner Jeff Ford absent, Commissioner Clyde Lynch, and Commissioner Jack Walton. Commissioner Jeff Ford is out of town on business uh, with his annual meeting with his company. Commissioner Lynch has a very bad cold, and he called this afternoon. Excuse me. Push your Push present button. button so it prints. Commissioner Lynch uh, has a bad cold and not here tonight, and Commissioner Walton has a uh, previous meeting and commitment that he will be here shortly, so uh, we'll be expecting Commissioner Walton momentarily. So we do have uh, 20 one of us present now, and we'll start uh, the meeting, the approval of the minutes of the regular November 9, 2009 County Commission meeting. I'll entertain a motion to accept. I move for approval. Commissioner Wilson, Commissioner Brockman the second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Show it unanimous. Did you bring my gavel? I did not. Could, could you go get it, please? <laughs> <laughs> or somebody. You're lost without it. Introduction acceptance of the Highway Commission minutes. These uh, were sent out in the mail and entertain a motion to accept. So moved. Uh, Commissioner Cook, the motion. Commissioner Bain, the second. All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Citizens communication. Uh, we have no one that's signed up tonight, but uh, Commissioner Parra has a comment that he'd like to make. Uh, Chairman, Aaron, I had, Chairman Aaron, I had a, uh, a citizen that wanted to submit a, a statement, so if I could just have that entered into the record, I'd appreciate it. Please pass it to the chair, please, and we'll enter that uh, into the record. Thank you very much. Anything else under citizens communications? Under communications and messages, and Rogers, I guess we'll just move right on in, into your reports, if you would, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to have David come on up and give us an overview of the financial of the county, and also he's going to be touching on a little bit about the bond, um, the success we had last month, and then I'll actually. Uh, <clears throat> ask unless there's some kind of uh, um, action against it that we would ask that the rayon action month which is an official declaration by the by the state just be part of the minutes tonight David mr. chairman commissioners tonight I'm going to give you kind of an update of some of our reports since we did not meet in December uh, in your packet you should have received the October and November budget summaries 
And then at your desk tonight, uh, you will have December, which we just got those numbers about 4 o'clock this afternoon, but we felt like uh, that was important enough that a six-month point in time there to <coughs> work that up and get it to you tonight. So if we look at December, everything appears to be in order. We went back and compared this to the six-month report last year. And looking at those percentages, uh, everything appears to be pretty much in line uh, with last year. Um, of course, in our revenue and our property tax, they don't come in nice little one twelfth packages. Uh, December is a heavy month, and we'll have a heavy month in January or February. So uh, we do feel like that those figures are pretty much in line. We have two additional reports from the Cool Springs Conference Center for October and November. Both of those were positive. Um, October was a check to us for $50,008, and in November a check to us for $2,607. So we're glad to see those on a positive note. The item that we've been watching so closely over the last several months is the privilege tax. We also have a December report uh, that was put at your desk today that we just got finished on Friday. We always look for a little bit of good news. If you go on back to the chart that uh, IT has prepared for us, December totals are the largest total we've had in privilege tax since May of 2009. Uh, we don't see a trend yet, but like we say, we'll take any positive news we can get. And so that is a, a good month for our privilege tax compared to where we've been the last several months. Certainly not compared to the history we've had before that. If you look at December of last year, uh, it was right at the lowest month we've ever had. So we have got a good, good spread there and hope that will continue. Also did a six-month report of the accumulated privilege tax um, since we've been collecting privilege tax. And the six months, December 31st, 09, compared to 08, was down about 7% for that six-month period. And that's all of our regular reports, Mr. Chairman. I will report that we had our bond sale in November before Thanksgiving. We sold $24.7 million worth of general obligation bonds. We did sell these as the Build America bonds. That means that we sold them as taxable bonds as compared to the non-taxable what we normally do. But that carries a 35% rebate from the federal government. And the net interest cost on the GO bonds was 3.44%. That's the lowest percentage that any of us can remember ever that the counties received. On the $39 million district school bonds, which most of you recall we, the rural debt is what that would be, the net interest cost on those was 3.45%. Again, both of those the lowest uh, interest rates that we've received uh, in recent history. So we feel like we hit the market at the right time. We structured those as 25-year bonds compared to the 20 years we've done in the past. And we feel like we got a very good uh, arrangement on that, a good sale, <coughs> a good rate. And so we're, we're happy with the results of that sale. That is a, a first for us doing those. We'll have another opportunity in the spring, and we will look at the market at that time and decide whether we'll do the Build America again or whether we'll go back to conventional. So that's just something we'll continue to watch. Mr. Chairman, I'll take any questions if there's any. Any questions of Mr. Coleman on the information that's presented? Thank you. I see none. Mayor? Mr. Chairman, as I indicated, this is national, this is a uh, statewide and national um, radon um, through the Department of Environmental Conservation supporting efforts uh, by all the citizens and we have declared the month of January 
uh, is official rate on month. Encourage everyone to take those necessary steps to certainly uh, look for elevated levels of rate on in their homes <clears throat> or any new homes they may build. The other item that I have tonight, last Monday night during the budget committee, uh, the budget committee did vote on the proposed 2010-11 budget <clears throat> guidelines, and I would kind of like to touch on it just for a few moments. Some of our collective thinking as we talk to the budget committee and um, looking at the dollars and cents, which David has kind of touched on for this coming year, realizing that uh, it's going to be another difficult year. I'd like to throw some numbers at you that we came to the conclusion of what we feel like that we can go through this year. If you look at the, um, if you look at the data that, that David and Nina and Mike Weber put together for me, last year we were able to, <clears throat> we were able to come up with $23 million through cost savings measures that we did collectively <coughs> countywide. We took $7 million of that dollars, those dollars and rolled them in to help pay the rural debt, uh, as many of you would uh, re remember. That left us with approximately $17 million on the expenditure side that we were able to uh, roll back and um, make the budget we needed to make. On the revenue side, we came within a half a percent of our projections. We actually came in a million eight, almost $2 million, more than we had anticipated. <clears throat> so as you can see, the 16 to $18 million that we were able to accumulate were through the efforts of all the elected officials and through the department heads from their hard work, schools, everyone that you can think of. This year, the guidelines that have been voted on unanimously are the following. Based on the information that we've received, looked at a lot of the data that David has presented to you tonight, and the guidelines are basically, in a nutshell, a status quo. There'll be no new positions. Operating budgets will remain the same. Um, and capital expenditures will be zero is what we've got for last year and no new funding request. Uh, salaries will remain steady at the same level. Hopefully between now and the July time we'll be able to address some of these other issues. So we've asked, we have sent this material out to all the elected officials, all the uh, department heads asking them to the only changes they can make in their budget this year is to move the dollars internally within, but the bottom line should be the same as it was last year. We um, <clears throat> are looking at a lot of information. Uh, the state of Tennessee will be meeting tomorrow in, a, in their session, and they're having a special call session. <clears throat> I know the schools are looking at that session, too, to see what comes out of that. Uh, we're keeping them very watchful eye on the things that are occurring in Washington and Nashville <clears throat> and be sure that those aren't just brought down to us for, uh, for sp spending. It uh, has been said, and I will echo it, this will be a tougher year from a financial standpoint and than any year that I can remember um, because of sometimes uh, some of the things that were coming out of Washington, there were one-time fix dollars that came in, and so those, those dollars probably to the best of our knowledge at this point, won't be passed on. Mr. Chairman, I'll try to answer any particular questions that you may have. Thank you. Any questions the Mayor? I see none. Thank you, sir. Mr. Lane, if you would, just mark in the record that the proclamation on the radon will be a part of the record rather than reading Thank that you. in the record. And the Chair would also like to recognize uh, our Deputy Lynn Sutton who's always so faithful to be here as our sergeant at arms. And Sheriff Long is also here tonight, so we want to thank both of them for being here and uh, being with us. On other reports from the county offices, uh, Williams County Schools, uh, Dr. Mike Looney. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, esteemed commissioners. Um, first, I'd like to thank you for the warm reception that I've received in this county and, and from you individually as I've met with you um, in my first 30 days. This is my first uh, presentation to you tonight. I look forward to uh, many more sessions that are productive. As you may very well know, we were in school today after a two-day uh, recess due to snow. Um, we do have several resolutions before you tonight. 
one of which is of, of particular interest to me because it saves, uh, allows, allows us to allow you to save money. I'd be glad to answer any questions that you may have about the operations of the district in particular. I look forward to your vote tonight on those resolutions. Any questions, Dr. Laney, at this point? Uh, see none. Thank you. Any other committee or group wishing to report tonight uh, as part of the reporting to the County Commission? Any other? You've got some notices of some meetings that have been canceled. Uh, anything? Anything to add uh, before we move on to the elections and appointments in the agenda? I see none. Moving on then to election appointments, we've got the County Commission appointments of the Agricultural Committee. Two-year terms expiring January of 12. Pharma position, Fred Johnson. Nomination, Jesse Dotson. Farm woman position, Sharon Hatcher. Nomination, Sharon Hatcher. County Commissioner, Judy Hayes. Nomination, Jack Walton. County Commissioner, Tom Bain. Nomination, Tom Bain. I'll entertain a motion. Commissioner Mills, the motion. Commissioner Hayes, the second. Further discussion? All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Show it unanimous. Adoption of the Agricultural Committee, the notaries. You've received uh, these in the packet. I'll entertain <coughs> the motion to accept. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Smith, the motion. Commissioner Cook, the second on the notaries. All in favor say aye. aye. Opposed? Show it unanimous. Consent agenda. You've received uh, the consent agenda that's uh, been presented. Uh, these, this is the county road list that we adopt in January each year. This has been presented to the Highway Commission and received its unanimous adoption as well as the other committees. So we will entertain entertain a motion to accept the consent agenda. Commissioner Little, Commissioner Williams, the second. Committee reports, uh, budget committee report, please, Commissioner Little. 5 4 0 against. Thank you, sir. Highway Commission voted 5 4 0 against. Uh, any explanation, Commissioner Little, other than this is something we always do in January? You just explained it. Any questions at all on the road list? <coughs> I see none. If you're in favor of the road list, Press your yes button, the green one. <laughs> if you're opposed, uh, the no button. If you want to abstain, the yellow button. Everybody wish to vote. Record a vote, please, Ms. Anderson. Okay. 21 yes. Thank you very much. Uh, the road list is unanimously adopted on the uh, consent agenda. Unfinished business, new business, moving on to zoning. We do have a public hearing tonight. Public hearing regarding resolution number 11011, resolution to amend Article 12 of the Williamson County Zoning Ordinance regarding submittal requirements. Uh, I will now open the public hearing. It's now open. If you wish to address this body, come forward to the podium. Give us your name and address. We'll allow you to speak. Anyone wishing to speak? There being none, I declare the public hearing closed. Resolution number 11011, resolution to amend Article 12 of the Williamson County Zoning Ordinance regarding submittal requirements. Uh, Commissioner Hancock and Walton, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Barnwell, the second. Uh, this <coughs> resolution. Went to the Planning Commission. Planning Commission has reported uh, as 10 4 0 against. Water Authority, Commissioner Hancock. 4 4 and 0 against. Thank you, sir. Explanation, please. Mr. Chairman, this just puts us in actually in line with what we've been doing, the, the, the way it's been handled so long, for a long time, and it, uh, uh, it, it makes a smoother flow within the action that the Commission, Planning Commission, has to take on it. Uh, Water Authority saw no problems with it. As a matter of fact, we think it'll help. Very good. Any any questions of Commissioner Hancock on 110.11? 
Any questions whatsoever? If you're in favor of this resolution, press the yes button. Opposed, your no button. <coughs> Record a vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 21 yes. Resolution unanimously adopted. 21 yes and zero no. <coughs> Resolution 110-1. Resolution <coughs> appropriating $50,125 additional funds received from the state from the Energy Efficient Schools Initiative Grant. Uh, Commissioner Smith, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Langston, the second school board report was 11 yes, zero no. Education committee? Six yes, zero no. Thank you. Budget committee, Commissioner Little? Five in favor, zero against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Smith? These are grant funds from the state for um, HVAC and food service equipment, uh, energy efficient equipment, no local funds, no local match. Uh, I ask for your approval. Thank you, sir. Questions of Commissioner Smith? I see none. If you're in favor of resolution 1101, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Court of vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 21 yes. 21 yes, zero no. Resolution is unanimously adopted. Resolution 1102. Resolution appropriating $9,000 received from the state from the Energy Efficient Schools Grant Initiative. Commissioner Smith, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Tommy Little, the second. School board report, 11 yes, zero no. Education committee? Six yes, zero no. Thank you, sir. Budget committee? Five in favor, zero against. Thank you. Commissioner Smith, explanation, please. Uh, similar situation, uh, state grant funds, no local match, uh, a rebate on purchase of some energy efficient um, equipment at Page Middle. Any questions of Commissioner Smith on this resolution? I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. <coughs> Anybody voted to wish to vote? Record a vote, please. 21 yes. Thank you very much. Resolution unanimously adopted. 21 yes and zero no. Resolution 110-3, resolution appropriating $675,000 in settlement of Independence High School lawsuit over land. Commissioner Smith, please. Move for approval. Commissioner Hancock, the second. School board report, 11 yes, zero no. Education committee? Six yes, zero no. Thank you. Budget? Five, four, zero against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Smith? Uh, this has been going on for some time with the, uh, the land at Independence High School uh, uh, obtained through a condemnation procedure. There was funds left over uh, in the, from the construction process that was returned from, to the county. Uh, now it's being uh, paid back in settlement of this, uh, uh, of this uh, dispute over the land. We're actually getting an additional <coughs> 23 acres as part of the deal and uh, would ask for your approval. Thank you, sir. Questions of Commissioner Smith on this resolution? I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Court of vote, please, Ms. Anderson. <coughs> 21 yes. 21 yes, zero no. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution 110-4. Resolution transferring between major categories for salary adjustments due to the Williamson County Board of Education reorganization of operations structure. <coughs> Commissioner Smith. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Brockman, the second. School board, 11 yes, zero no. Education. Six yes, zero no. Thank you. Budget? Five, four, zero against. Thank you, sir. Explanation, Commissioner Smith? Uh, this is before in particular because it's moving money between uh, categories. The uh, uh, new director of schools has uh, uh, done some restructuring in the central office as far as um, reporting lines, and uh, uh, this uh, involves deleting two unfilled positions, adding one new position and uh, putting in place an office of the, of the director that he thinks will uh, serve him best going forward. Actually involves saving, uh, saving money for the school system and, and therefore the taxpayer for the next several years. So I would ask for your approval. Any questions, comments uh, on this resolution? This was discussed in committee and uh, 
Mr. Smith, I think it appropriate we put in the record it was reported to us that, that the director of schools would not require any more people in that area. So, isn't that what he reported? This is the structure he, he feels will uh, serve him for the foreseeable future. There is a uh, uh, presentation in your packet of some slides that we saw at the committee meeting that further explains what's going on. You concur with that, Dr. Lenny? Yes, sir. Thank you. If we could, Ms. Anderson, let's reflect that in the record there. Any other discussion on 1104? See none. Be in favor of 1104. Press your yes button. Oppose your no button. <coughs> Record the vote, please. 21 yes. Thank you very much. 21 yes and zero no. Resolution 1105. <coughs> Resolution appropriating 135000 from unappropriated central cafeteria fund balance for point of sale software and equipment. Commissioner Smith. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Langston, the second. School board, 11 yes, zero no. Education committee. Six yes, zero no. Thank you very much. Budget. Five in favor, zero against. Thank you, sir. Re explanation, Commissioner Smith, please. The, uh, the school system wants to upgrade their um, point of sale uh, <coughs> software in the uh, cafeterias. Of course, the uh, cafeteria fund is a self-supporting enterprise fund. And uh, this is uh, more efficient software that will give them much more flexibility and reliability and will also save them uh, approximately 10000 a year in uh, licensing uh, fees. So I would ask for your approval. Any questions, Commissioner Smith, on this resolution? I see none. <coughs> if you're in favor of 1105, press your yes button. Oppose your no button. Record the vote, please. 21 yes. 21 yes, zero no. Resolution is unanimously adopted. <clears throat> Dr. Looney, that's a pretty good start. <laughs> 1107, resolution appropriating and amending the 2009-10 Sheriff's Office budget by 15289 Revenues to come from state reimbursements. Uh, County Commissioner Chalfont, please. Move for approval. Commissioner Cook, the second, Law Enforcement Public Safety Committee. Six in favor, zero against. Thank you. Budget Committee. Five in favor, zero against. Explanation, Commissioner Chalfont, please. Uh, th this is a reimbursable uh, expense from the state, so it's no additional money locally. Any questions of Commissioner Chalfont on 11, on 110 I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Record a vote, please, Ms. Anderson. Okay. 21 yes. Thank you very much. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution 1108, resolution appropriating and amending the 2009-10 Sheriff's Office budget by $5,000. Revenues to come from other local revenues. Commissioner Chalfont. Move for approval. Second. Who is the second over here? Commissioner Bain. Barnwell is the second. Budget committee. Five, four, zero against. Thank you. Law enforcement. Six in favor, zero against. Thank you. Explanation, please. Uh, these, this represents fees that are collected by the attending uh, participants of these classes. <clears throat> Again, no county funds required. Thank you, sir. Questions of Commissioner Chalfont? I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Record the vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 21 yes. Thank you. Resolution unanimously adopted. Re resolution 1109, resolution establishing the 2009-10 State Criminal Alien Assistance Program for the Sheriff's Office, totaling 22042 Revenues to come from grant funds. Commissioner Chalfont, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Wilson, the second. Law Enforcement Public Safety Committee. Six in favor, zero against. Thank you. Budget Committee. Five, four, zero against. Thank you, sir. Explanation, Commissioner Chalfont. Uh, this, this grant has come from the State Criminal Alien Assistance Program. Again, no additional funds from the county. Thank you, sir. Questions? 
is for training. I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Record the vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 21 yes. 21 yes, zero no. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution 11010. Resolution establishing the 2009-10 American Recovery and Reinvestment Act Grant Number 3 and appropriating and amending 2009-10 Sheriff's Office budget by $8,140. Revenues to come from a state grant <coughs> and authorizing the county mayor to execute a contract with the state of Tennessee for receipt of the funds. Commissioner Chalfont, please. Move for approval. Commissioner Barnwell, the second. Law Enforcement Committee. Six in favor, zero against. Budget Committee. Five, four, zero against. Thank you. Explanation, please. Again, this is uh, as an application and receipt of grant <coughs> funds. Questions of Commissioner Chalfont? I see none. If you're in favor of resolution 11010, the R of funds, press your yes button, oppose your no button. Record the vote, please. Okay, 21 yes. Thank you very much. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution 11013, <coughs> resolution authorizing the allocation of $4,179,000 recovery zone economic development bonds to the city of Franklin. Commissioner Little, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Mills, the second. Budget committee report. Five, four, zero against. Thank you, sir. Explanation, Commissioner Little. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, there is a pool that was put out of like $10 billion nationwide for areas that were designated as recovery zones. Uh, the <coughs> city of Franklin is able to use these funds, uh, whereas the county is not. And we're just a pass-through conduit. The city of Franklin assumes all responsibility to do this whole gig of this county assumes none. Uh, I have to ask the mayor, are, is the city of Franklin going to take the whole thing or are we going to amend this or there were some negotiations as to how <coughs> that was going to go and I'm not up to date. Mayor, mayor, if you would update us, we've got several okay. things to report. Uh, yeah, there's, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thanks, Russell. Uh, back in September, we sent out letters. We got a memorandum of understanding in July from um, the feds talking about these these funds is if you will look at your resolution I think it's the fourth whereas it's uh, there's approximately five million seven hundred and twenty nine thousand dollars there are several steps for uh, this money to be used back in September we sent out letters to all the city mayors asking them that they want to participate in, into it and Russell has indicated that at that time the only two that stepped forward uh, and there were several steps they had to go through, but the only ones that indicated they were interested in those funds was Franklin specifically. It takes a resolution on their part, their funding body, that uh, <coughs> says they are interested in it. They have to design, they have to uh, declare a certain area as an economic recovery zone. When they do that, then th there's several steps that they have to go through accounting. We have put them on record. That's all their responsibility. As Russell <coughs> said, it's a pass through. At one point, we had another city that was interested in it, and they've decided not to. But we've also had two additional cities. What we had told Franklin was that we have a total of $5,729,000, and by uh, this formula we came up that, that they would be eligible for <clears throat> the $4,179,000. In the last week to 10 days, we've had two cities to step up and say they'd like to participate in that. What do we have to do? And what we have told Franklin, they can have the $4,179,000 million, uh, $4 because they've dotted their I's and crossed their T's. The other two cities, we have, put them, uh, we have gotten two letters from them. One of them is by action by a city in Fairview, and the other one is late as uh, today. We got one from Spring Hill that would indicated that they would be interested. To date, we have not received a resolution from the city of Spring Hill. They don't meet till next Monday. So you will be seeing this again in February. I would ask that you go ahead and vote and give the money to Franklin. They have designated. They're ready to go to market, and they're entitled to it. If the other cities don't step up and if they're not interested in it, and they may 
be interested in it, but this gives them some time in which they may want to investigate. In the case of Fairview, we've discussed it. There may be some other options that they would want to use for a project on Highway 100, $300,000. <coughs> it may not pay them to go to the market for $300,000 in the bond cost. It may be better they get a bank qualified letter, but this does allow them through this mechanism to be eligible for it, and there's a cutoff date. And the same thing would be applicable to Spring Hill. So, Mr. Chairman, if I could, I would ask you to go ahead and vote for Franklin. They've done all the necessary paperwork. They're ready to go. If the other cities do not do the rest of the work that's required and by a certain time frame, then we have to notify the state of Tennessee. state of Tennessee will take all remaining funds from all 95 counties in the state, roll it back into the pool, and make it real available to those cities and counties that are interested in that. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And for the record, as the Mayor indicated, Fairview is interested in 300000 Spring Hill is interested in a million, so that's the million three. So if they don't qualify for utilization of those funds, then Franklin will take the 5.729 total, but we'll have to come back in February with a new resolution. So. That's the update on where things are, and uh, as the mayor has indicated, he wishes us to approve this tonight for $4.179 million, and then we'll bring back in February whatever balance uh, is adjusted either to those two cities or all to Franklin. Any questions? This, this is money, of course, it's loan. It's to be paid back. It's not a grant. Chair recognizes Commissioner Brockman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Mayor, is it, do, does the county not have the authority to have our own sort of recovery zone? In other words, I know we don't have one now, but I'm just thinking about Franklin using the funding down Columbia, and of course my mind starts to think about the BGA property. Is there, there's, so this funding, it's, it's, it's not eligible. There are several things we looked at, including the projects going on in the 8th and 9th <coughs> District, even for the sewer. Okay. Um, most of these projects that are in this area are for infrastructure, which would qualify, but that was not an area that we could work in in the sewer at all, nor the, nor the BGA. Uh, Franklin has designated, it's my understanding, two zones. One of them that I specifically remember is from uh, intersection of Highway uh, 96 and Hillsborough Road going back to Del Rio. And then one going up Columbia. And then one going up Columbia. We, there's another part of this, may I, Mr. Chairman? <coughs> Go right ahead, sir. There's another part of this. We may be coming back later. There's some additional funds. We've got a little later uh, time that would, they're called facility economic bonds. It does require third party help, and we're going to be studying and looking at that too through Bond Council. But, but right now, mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, felt that we have no particular need for it in the in the count. We've got needs, but we wouldn't call it qualify. It for. just just was not didn't line up in terms. No, of and that. I understand the feds want to do it this way. It's easier to deal with 95 counties in the state of Tennessee rather than every single city in the state of Tennessee. And so they they're letting us be the conduit. Correct. Okay. Anything further, Commissioner Brockman? I think that's that's all. But Thank you know, you. just seeing the fact that the the rebate is 45 percent would be very attractive. Thank you. Other questions, comments on 11, excuse me, 11013? I see none. If you're in favor of this resolution is presented, press your yes button. Oppose your no button. For the vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 21 yes. Thank you. Resolution unanimously adopted. 21 yes and zero no. <clears throat> resolution number 11014, resolution appropriating and amending the 2009-10 Circuit Court Clerk's budget by $15,000. Revenues to come from reserve account. Commissioner Little. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Mills is second. Budget committee report. 540 against. Explanation please, Commissioner Little. We see these resolutions come through time to time. The Circuit Court Clerk is able to charge certain fees going to a fund and she wants to use these to, uh, for office equipment. Thank you, sir. Questions of Commissioner Little? I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Oppose your no button. Please record the vote, Ms. Anderson. Okay. 21 yes. 
21 yes, 0 no, resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution number 11015, resolution appropriating and amending the 2009-10 election commission budget by $38,475.22. Revenues to come from other local revenues. Commissioner Little. Move for approval. Who is the second? Commissioner Hester, the second. Budget committee report. 540 against. Thank you, sir. Report, please, sir. This is a repayment to the election office for the city of Franklin election. Questions of Commissioner Little on resolution 15. I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Court of vote, please. 21 yes. Thank you very much. Resolution unanimously adopted. 21 yes, 0 no. Resolution 11016, resolution appropriating and amending the 2009-10 County General Miscellaneous Budget by $1,721.48. Revenues to come from refunds. Commissioner Little, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Barnwell, the second. Budget committee. 540 against. Explanation, please. Uh, county purchases office supplies from Office Depot. We get a uh, rebate annually, and the rebate money goes to, to the uh, reserve fund to purchase copy paper for the entire county. Thank you, sir. Questions of Commissioner Little on number 16? I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Oppose your no button. Record a vote, please, Ms. Anderson. Okay, 21 yes. 21 yes, 0 no. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution 11017. Resolution appropriating and amending the 2009-10 library budget by $5,000 for security system upgrade revenues to come from unappropriated county general funds. Commissioner Barnwell, please. Vote for approval. Second. Commissioner Langston, the second. Library Board of Trustees report. 540 against. Thank you. Budget committee. 540 against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Barnwell, please. Yes, uh, as you're aware, we had a break in several months ago, and this is going to be an expenditure to close the loop of uh, in the library of, of something that was that didn't uh, we didn't have at the time. This will provide us with a burglar alarm system. Any questions of Commissioner Barnwell on resolution 11017? I see none. If you're in favor, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Record the vote, please, Ms. Anderson. Okay, 21 yes. 21 yes, zero no. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution number 11018, resolution appropriating and amending the 2009-10 library budget by $54,473.43. Revenues to come from miscellaneous donations. Commissioner Barnwell, please. Move for approval. Second. Commissioner Langston, the second. Library Board. 540 against. <coughs> Thank you. Budget Committee. 540 against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioner Barnwell, please. Yes, this is uh, money we receive uh, throughout the year from the City of Franklin. The major portions are City of Franklin and uh, from the Friends of the Library to purchase books. And this is just accounting for it so we can actually buy the books. Questions of Commissioner Barnwell? I see none. In favor of this resolution, press your yes button. Oppose your no button. Record a vote, please, Ms. Anderson. 21 yes. Thank you very much. Resolution unanimously adopted. Resolution 1106, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into a lease agreement with the Nolansville Historical Society. <clears throat> Commissioners Green and uh, Little, please. Move for approval. Second. <clears throat> Property Committee Report. Five in favor, zero against. Thank you. Budget committee. Five in favor, zero against. Thank you. Commissioners Little and Green, explanation, please. Yes, this is resolution allowing the mayor to enter into an agreement with the Nolensville uh, Historic Society over the, what was the old recreation building in Nolensville. And uh, they, are meeting us tonight. they are meeting at the same time we are tonight uh, to discuss their part of that. And I recommend approval. Anything further, Commissioner Little? Just this is what we authorized the mayor to negotiate last meeting, and this culminates it. I want to thank both of you for work, working on this because it's taken a lot of effort. Commissioner Brockman. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The uh, Historical Society, the Nolensville uh, Society, is 
a longstanding group. They have 501c3. I'm just curious about them. Yes. They are relatively new within they're, the last few years. Oh, it is. But they do have a 501c3. I mean, they're, they're, they're like four or five years old. Okay. But they is, do have a 501c3. And the size of the organization, do they have membership? Is this a... Our membership has grown significantly okay. uh, because this has brought a lot of attention to the, the uh, situation there in Nolensville with the building. And I think there are 35, 40 people right now. Uh, but it's, uh, there's, a lot, there's a lot of public interest in preserving this building. And uh, it's a doable situation. Uh, and this is a two-year, this is basically a two-year lease. Mm -hmm. Allow them time to put together the financing and a plan as to what they're going to do with the building. Right. And they got two years to do that. And I don't think it will take two years. Uh, there's a lot of interest in this. Good. Thank you. Other questions of Commissioner Little and Green? I see none. If you're in favor of this resolution, press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. <coughs> Everybody voted it. Commissioner Walton, you want to get in on one vote before we adjourn? <laughs> <laughs> this is resolution 1106, authorizing the lease with the Nolansville Historical Society. So uh, we ready to vote that. All in favor? Press yes. We record a vote, Ms. Anderson, please. 22 yes. 22 yes. Zero no. Resolution. Unanimously adopted. Resolution 110-21, resolution authorizing the Williams County Mayor to enter into an interlocal agreement <coughs> with the City of Franklin regarding the cost of road improvements to the intersection of Oxford Glen Drive at Clovercroft Road to Commissioners Para and Wilson. Move for approval. Second. Second, Commissioner Barnwell. Highway Commission voted 5-4, 0 against. Budget Committee. Five in favor, zero against. Thank you. Explanation, Commissioners Wilson and Para. Uh, this has been a many, many months of combination of working together with the highway department and uh, residents in the local area. For me, it goes back before we actually did some studies because I had um, the husband of the minister of our church who was uh, injured very, um, uh, very bad at the time in that intersection of Clovercroft Road and Oxford Glen Drive. Then, since then, we have um, they put the flashing red lights up. After studies and uh, looking at many different areas, talking with the city of Franklin, working with them, we have, they have determined that the route to go is to uh, take the hill down and eventually maybe a red light. The safety of the citizens in this area, of course, is the primary reason that we're doing this. This is one of the final stages of working with this interlocal agreement with the city of Franklin because they have determined that they, that they said in the agreement that they would do one-fourth of the cost of that uh, agreement. So we are waiting on the city of Franklin, but this is the resolution that we need to go on and proceed with these uh, determinations that we've made. Commissioner Pair, follow up. Yeah, I appreciate uh, everybody's work on this, um, Commissioner Wilson's, Eddie's, and uh, the other members. Um, yeah, I think it is uh, a good improvement to the intersection, cutting that hill down. Uh, it's, it was always quite a bit difficult to see, and I think it improves um, the safety, not just of the citizens of the 4th District, but a lot of people use that road to kind of cut across county and and uh, I think it'll improve safety for a lot of people. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions of Commissioner <coughs> Perrin Wilson on uh, this resolution? Commissioner Brockman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Is, was it not possible to ask for some um, help with the, the cost of grading the hill down that, from the city? That, that is that what is this cost is. If they're going to, we're asking them for 25% of the 207,000. This is strictly the excavation of the hill has nothing to do And then the 51,000 is, is their portion. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's And the light is, is later, Separate. possibly. Separate. Mr. Chairman, uh, Commissioner Brown, um, early on in the feasibility study, the city agreed to do a 25% share on the feasibility study. Okay. Then they agreed to do the 25% on the cutting of the hill. 
taking down that hill. They did not agree to do the 25% on the intersection. And then the port, and then the hill is 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 this is this on private property? This is part of this is our road. We'll have to do some easement right away cutoffs, but uh, I suspect that Franklin will come back and want to do 25% of the intersection. Okay. When we get to that point, we are but we are going to do both of them. We have to. Our engineer study said that we needed to do it for safety reasons, and therefore we have to do it. It'll make the intersection very nice. Okay. Other questions? All in favor? One ten <coughs> twenty one. Now press your yes button. Opposed, your no button. Record a vote, please, Miss Anderson. Twenty two yes. Twenty two yes, zero no. <coughs> Resolution unanimously adopted. This is a world record. Commissioner Williams, give us an update on Matt. <clears throat> well, he's uh, back at Camp Lejeune now. He now he's got a company under his command, two hundred and seventeen Marines. And uh, as he described it, he's on, he's the first, uh, he's only first lieutenant in the battalion. He's got a company under his command. His work days have just gone from eight hours to 13 hours. So uh, uh, no more pay, captain's position, um, just more headaches. So that's where, that's where he's at right now. I'm glad to have you here. This, I know last month you were with him, and we certainly miss you. Anybody else have anything to announce before we? Commissioner Mills, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. At this time of year, I always make the announcement of a black tie affair. That's the beginning of uh, African American History Month. And where everything else has gone up, we have <laughs> not. Still $50. And this affair will be the first Friday in February. And we always choose a theme, and this time we're celebrating music now and then in Weston County. And if you want to buy a ticket, I can get them for you. For you can handle that? Okay. <laughs> First Friday in February at That's Embassy February Suites. 10th. Fe February 10th. I mean 5th. 5th. 5th of February. February the 5th. Commissioner yeah. Barnwell, please. Oh, I just was saying five. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> February the 5th, the Black Tie Fair. At the Embassy Suites. Embassy Suites. Mm -hmm. uh, anybody else have any announcements to make before we close tonight. Thank all of you for being here and I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. All in favor say aye. aye. We're adjourned. Thank you very much.